Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Brian here, Be Free Productions. Um, today we're looking at Silver Screen Toolkit by Instant Sonics. It's a brand new product. Um, you can find out more about it on Contact Hub. That's actually where the most information seems to be for it. Uh, it's right here described as a complete cinematic trailer toolkit. Their website is pretty basic. There's really nothing in there. You can purchase it there. Uh, also some demos and they have a YouTube overview video. Also this thread on VI Control, they've answered some questions. I will link to all these in my written review, but I wanna show you a bit. This track was made entirely with the Instant Sonics uh, Silver Screen Toolkit. Um, bunch of instances here running through a black hole reverb to give it a massive amount of space. And this is what it sounds like made in about under two hours just with the sounds that are included. So you can hear throughout that track, there's a nice variety of sounds. Um, we have drum kits, effects, alarms, bends, brahms, pulses, uh, risers, transitions, stingers, swells, booms. Uh, there's a lot of content in here. So when you load it up, there's a massive amount of NKI files. I think I counted there's like 44 or something like that. Uh, which is a lot but you know they're all nicely named they're categorized basically into drums effects instruments and then pulses so the complex kits are just your basic <laughs> drum kits they have everything color coded so the bass drum type sounds are here in green snares are in yellow and then hi-hats or assorted perks are all up in the red okay i have a lot of reverb on this so it is pretty cool you can make some of these kind of remind me of some damage kits um not quite as insanely processed and and punished but you can make an entire track based off this one library alone since it does have so many different types of sounds um, they, they are heavily processed very hybrid very electronic um, you won't find many natural um, sounds here they're mostly design sounds which are they're all pretty good <coughs> This is the next drum kit.
let's look at some of the effects here. Here we have alarms. And you notice the interface is extremely, extremely simple, very basic, just a blue, uh, not flashy at all. But it's more important about how easy it is to use and what it sounds like. So you have a waveform diagram right up here, a general uh, controls right here, and the effects panel here with filters, low pass filters, high pass filters, uh, damage for distortion, uh, effect the bit rate, uh, delays, reverb, and the post filters. So the waveform tab There, are, there is also this gate um, control right here. You can set it to quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and it's pretty. It's pretty nice to have that all included right there. The waveform allows you to drag that wherever you want the sample to start, which is pretty nice way of doing it. Pretty intuitive. You can just drag and drop that wherever and have your sample start right there. So I've noticed that a lot of these have a uh, slow attack, but you can also adjust that here or just slide the control for the sample start. They also have a couple folders just, or NKI files entitled assorted. <laughs> Pretty, pretty cool sounds in here, um, but they're all just in this assorted folder, so expect to do some digging to find the ones you like. effect is bends. So you can see they all follow the same like note trajectory or pitch trajectory where it just kind of bends, um, just providing different sounds for that. Of course, as soon as I go to the next one, that's not true. So they are grouped there as soon as you hit This key, it goes to a different shape, different trajectory of that. These are all, they all kind of the different noises, but the same slow bend down. Then we get up here. So it might've been nice if those were color coded as well. 
to kind of have the long downers um, so you know where they start and stop. So you just have to remember that. You know, there's some pretty heavy, um, gritty sounds in here. And it's definitely nice. get a lot of content some of them are similar but there's different processing and different things going on within each different sample there you can tell some of them started with the same source material and then have been processed or mangled different ways These are very bassy, you might not be able to hear unless you have some good headphones. Here we're going on to the Brahms. some of these are and how uh, much they peak compared to the other ones. Also, I forgot to mention down here, anything that's tonal, you can control the pitch. Some of, some of these are really good. Some of them are a bit too, um, bit too much, a bit too overdriven for my taste, and they come off a little bit harsh. Overall, the Brahms, I don't think, are as good as something like uh, Keep Forest Evolution, Atlantica, or Dragon, um, which have a more variety, I believe, and each one sounds a little bit more evolving. But these are very good nonetheless. Or something like that, I would not consider it a Brahm in any way whatsoever. Some of these are subtle, some of them are insanely overdriven in your face. On to the drops. Uh, keep in mind, I do have that reverb on on my mixer, so straight out of the box, these things are very dry.
so these are the timbers pretty much just background atmospheres uh, this one a couple others are like extremely bassy I did notice that some of like the sub hits and stuff aren't nearly as bassy as I would want a sub hit to be um, but over, like some of them have an incredible amount of low end, these timbers, um, some of the ones, the swells I was just playing. Also, if you notice, um, the isolate knob right here, that sound I just played, which are mapped all across the different keys, different sounds, you isolate it and you can... And it basically just drops the sample to wherever you want to play it on the keyboard there, which is a nice feature. However, also notice that... So it basically stretches the sample and so you get slower attack times the lower you go on the keys. So here's an interesting category, the instruments section. Here it performs more like a standard synth. these different sam sound banks here and you can stack them so it may seem like a you know quite a limited amount of sound banks or sounds to play with until you can stack them in any combination you want. stack them all, see what it sounds like.
so yeah, I mean, it has some pretty cool synth sounds there. Nothing like your standard, you know, saw sine wave. Um, they're all labeled differently, and so you'll just have to play around, see what they all sound like. But it does provide you this sort of a melodic instrument. You can do you can do leads or some bass lines with that. I found some of them are really lacking in the low end. This one I found was good at the low end, so if you have some headphones you can hear that. We have instruments short. So here's your plucks. Rats. Okay, so you see you have some good uh, synth style stuff there. You can do leads, um, plucks, and stuff like that, which is pretty nice for a sound design trailer toolkit. So here we come to the pulses. I noticed some people were also asking about this in the forum, VI Control. So the pulses are all predetermined. You have So you can tell they're all pretty much those 16th with differing velocities to give it more of a groove. So that is how the pulses work. They are all predetermined what kind of pulse it is. They provide you with a lot of different sounds, but this is not like, um, say, output signal, where it's a dedicated pulse engine and you can control if it's 16, 32 notes. You know what I mean. There's a lot more control in that, but these don't sound bad. Uh, there seem...
the one thing is some of them are very uh, clean, very um, EDM, and then others are very harsh and more hybrid, gritty type. So it might be nice to have the pulses organized into that or tagged somehow in a database, but we don't have that here. So you'll have to sort of play around and find the sound you want and where it's mapped on your keyboard. So you notice some of them are more melodic and they have melody kind of built in or more arpeggio style. control down there or so yeah you get a nice variety some of them side chain some of them more percussive some of them have more of a melody in there now here are the low pulses And as you can see uh, throughout the thing, you can kind of mangle these sounds your own with the damage controls. Which is nice. Um. So yeah, some of those have like phasing effects and distortion already built in to the waveform, the sample you're actually playing, so you won't be able to get rid of that. But you do have a nice variety mapped across the keyboard there. These are largely more percussive. These are just drenched in uh, reverb, as you can tell. But it gives them a nice um, airy quality. So these are non-tonal, they're all percussive in nature. These are 
of rhythmic transitions. Pretty nice. These ones say tension tickers A1 MW for mod wheel, so. with it you can see down here so yeah there's really no way to change how you can hear all the steps are going in that uh, fast 16th notes there's no way to change that to slow that down but as you can hear I just kind of mess with the gate and that gives it more of a 4-4 feel these are more just you know uh, texture layers and those are more hi-hat style some nice risers there and then we're back to the kits so that's what you have included here. Um, some of the sounds I do find to be a bit too generic. Um, they don't have as much character as something, say, Audio Imperia, their sound design libraries, or the evolution from Keep Forest. But all in all, you get a nice variety. Um, since it includes drum kits, effects, instruments for leads and the plucks, and pulses so you heard the track that I made at the intro of this it was entirely with this library I could definitely see if you have an orchestral library as well this could very well be the only one you could use if you made a hybrid or a trailer type track there's not as much control however um, with something I mentioned signal or something like that. Let me So let's compare something real quick. So this is what I mean by not as much character. So I had the distortion. There's just so much more going on in this one from Evolution. Evolution Atlantica. So my observation with this is, is two parts. Um, with something like Evolution, they're absolutely amazing right out of the box. However, they can be very recognizable. If someone else owns this library and you use this in a track as is they're going to instantly recognize it now it's really not a problem because they sound amazing but for, for say something like damage as well heavy -osity damage that's instantly recognizable I've recognized uh, loops from damage in quite a few things even with um, the game Assassin's Creed Rogue I instantly recognized uh, a damage loop being played in one of their battle themes <coughs> Now, again, this 
for people who don't know music, they just know it sounds amazing. But if you, you know, some of these sounds can be overused. However, notice there's just so much going on there. There's a hit, there's more uh, intensity, I believe. So these are absolutely usable. However, you might want to do more post-processing to kind of make it more your own, add a little bit more intensity, uh, compress it a little, maybe a maximizer, something like that. You know, any sound design tricks. So that's what I mean when I say that these sounds are kind of uh, generic, but they're also very good. You know, you have a lot of very usable stuff here. I prefer stuff the pulses are okay but there's not much control over them and it's it's good because you can instantly have that you just you don't need to tweak anything just boom there it is you pull it out you load it up and there it is but also like some of these that have the effects built in to the pulses um, maybe you don't want that and you want a cleaner signal. You won't be able to get that because it's all kind of baked in to the waveform that you see here. But I think overall for the amount of content that is provided, I think it is a good library. I have others that are better, but mostly the stuff that's better is more focused. For instance, these two, Orbit and Eclipse, some of the some of the sounds I found in here, those tension tickers in particular. Um, you can do this kind of stuff in Orbit, more so in Eclipse. So yeah, if you have a crap ton of uh, hybrid libraries, this probably isn't going to add anything new. However, I think it's nicely laid out. It does provide a wide variety of sounds. None of them have as much personality as, say, the others I've mentioned, Audio Imperia, Keep Forest, etc. However, you do get a lot of content, a massive amount of NKI files here, as you can see. Uh, my favorites are... I like the kits, the alarms, the bends, the swells are probably my favorite. They just sound very thick. You know, very usable right off the bat. Uh, some of the sounds are a bit too distorted, a bit too colored for me. Um, probably just a bit too harsh. Um, but yeah, that's that's a general overview. I'm doing a written review, but that is pretty much everything included as you saw me scroll through those NKI files. There's a lot, and you heard some of the sounds out of each and every single one, so you can make your determination if you'd like to purchase this or not. Um, I did get this sent for free in order to review it, and they wanted an honest review, and I'm giving an honest review, so that's what I always do. So, I could see myself using this, particularly for the effects. The tonal stuff, besides these swells, the tonal stuff, I don't think I will use, because I have soft synths, I have uh, quite a bit other of other libraries and synths that can do that kind of thing. However, for the effects alone, I think they're nicely labeled and nicely laid out. There was another one I use frequently for effects, collision effects. This is has so much good content, but it is so terribly mapped. You have no idea what you're going to get because it's mapped not only across these keys over the entire range of the keyboard all the way down to C, 
zero all the way up to the very highest range you can possibly get, which is absolutely absurd. So I use this a lot for effects. However, honestly, I can see myself using the Silver Stream cool Toolkit a lot more because everything is labeled and you have it right there. Uh, the kits are good. I can use those too, but I usually use um, the damage kits or I actually don't use electronic drums that much, but they are pretty good. Anyway, that's a little bit about it. Um, if you're interested, check it out. There's a thread, there's a website, and the most info is here on Contact Hub. And there's some demos and a little feature review here, which will all be able, you'll be able to click these links in my written review. Anyway, I probably dragged this on too long, but that's uh, the Silver Screen Toolkit for you. I will finish my written review and then you can all see my exact uh, verdict on that. So thanks for checking this out.